Hey everyone, welcome back to Millennial Min Channel. I'm Josh. I'm Noah. I'm Smile. And we are back with BTS, but plot twist. Hey. It's an explained video for Pepsi. Whoa. Explained by Korean. Yeah. We liked the first one we did, so we're going to keep doing these every once in a while. And we really liked the song. Yeah. So we wanted to dive a little bit deeper. Yeah. Let's do it. In light of BTS's new comeback, we are taking a look at their fiercest and most political song, Pepsi. Kind of drippy, RM. First of all, you need to know the Korean idiom. It means when you try to do something that's out of your reach, out of your capabilities, then you will likely fail. Crow tits or Pepsi have short legs, but storks have very long legs. Oh. So obviously a crow tit trying to catch up to a stork will likely fail. Here the storks are referring to people in power, the big companies, conglomerates, and older generations. And in this video, I will focus on the last meaning of older generations uh, because the previous two meanings have been covered a lot by other explanations. Here, BTS is using crow tits as a metaphor for the younger generation or the millennials of South Korea. They are trying very, very hard to catch up with their parents' generation, uh, the baby boomers or the storks. Uh, they also use another metaphor of teacher to refer to the uh, older generation mm. who are born with a golden spoon. They say this because during the ages of the baby boomers in South Korea, they were experiencing huge economic growth and it was extremely easy to get jobs, get housing, and stuff like that. But the economy in quick. South Korea... I do kind of like how, although we're here talking about South Korea, it's like... It's applicable anywhere and like everywhere in terms of having that split between the older generation and the younger generation. Obviously, it's different depending on where you're looking at. But I guess I, I'm glad that it's not just like one group of people or one location that's like, fuck, we're like just trying to catch up. We're just trying to be better. We're just trying to be better. It's almost like everybody in our age range, regardless of where you're at or your walk of life is like, just trying to catch up, trying to do better by the people who are telling us, like, you need to do more. So I guess that, like, is a kind of comforting in a way, I guess. It's like unity. Yeah, exactly. We're all, unity like, through unified struggle. through... Wow. Look at you, too. Unified through hardship, but same shit. No good stuff. <laughs> it's now at its maturing stages, and the side effects of ultra-fast economic growth have boomerang to haunt the current generation. Currently, the millennials are facing extremely high pricing of houses as well as high disparity between the rich and the poor and also extreme all-time high youth unemployment in this verse bts addresses the social injustices that millennials commonly face in korean society for example, passion pay. This is a very common practice in Korean society where companies basically pay young workers below minimum wage or nothing at all in return for experience. The company's logic is because they are offering yep. a job and an experience that many young people have passion for, they are the ones at, that are actually doing the service for the young people. Enposete is another newly made word that is used to describe the millennials of this decade. They are a generation that have basically given up what many consider to be basic human rights and wants because of extremely high youth unemployment rates and also very low wages compared to living costs. We have many different variations of Empo Sede to describe the millennials of South Korea. It originally started from Sampo Sede, which is used to describe the millennials that have given up dating, marrying, and giving birth due to economic instability. Then it evolved to Oppo Sede, which added giving up employment and buying your own house. And then it evolved into Chilpo Sede, which added human relationships and hope. <laughs> now the word... Holy... Giving up hope and human relationships. Jeez, and really honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it is a slippery slope of like as you start thinking about it more and more. But it's not. That's the thing, is it's like it's like like, like it, we're all reading this and we're like shaking our we're like Yeah. It's like yeah. The, the natural yeah. progression makes sense it's like, okay, giving up the idea of like this is gonna be my career. Okay, I don't make that much money. Okay, I can't buy a house. 
okay, what am I hopeful for? Okay, what am I gonna, like? It's, it's like it, the progression is natural because there's like so many roadblocks set up that like once you can't hop over the first one, the second one becomes difficult to reach, and then the third one, and the fourth one. It's like this domino effect of like what can I, what can I obtain type thing. And that's something that's happening directly in the U.S. as well. Like first off, uh, there's a baby shortage in the mm-hmm. U.S. Uh, we need to have more kids. We're not having enough kids apparently, and it's gonna cause economic instability in the future if we don't start having more children. And then there's also an issue where apparently someone did a study and they found out our generation is having the least amount of sex out of any previous generation before us at our age group. And that is all correlated to what you know, they're talking about here. You know, it's also funny. We also we often get shit on because we're like over sexualizing like everything mm-hmm. and like I know how all we care about is like sex and fucking yeah, drugs it, and shit. And like Dude, we're not even having sex. None of us are fucking, dude. <laughs> None of us fuck. Just looks around. No, but, Y'all dude, are but it's the but we all but we all know it's, be me. it's it's the three dollar coffee you buy three times a week. No. That's yeah. why, bro. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's ruining us. Yeah. <laughs> it's also just like even like that, just like the natural stress of like, man, everything else is so goddamn difficult. Like, I can't fuck. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> Where, where did I go wrong? <laughs> God damn it. Like, what are we doing here? What the fuck's the point? <laughs> that goes like lost, lost, lost hope in human relations, lost hope in general. It's all, it's all clicking and now. And then before you know it, dude, you're backpacking up to the woods to go live off the land for the rest of your life. Oh. Nah, I'm not going to do that one. <laughs> move, move to the coast and learn how to surf. You, you can speak for yourself. I might do that one. I yeah. that one, though. That one. Move to Italy and uh, work in a coffee shop. Like Costa Mediterranean. In a small rinky dink apartment. Moving on. Or <laughs> subscribe to Millennial Men. Yeah. That'd be helpful. That was pretty good, huh? Wild. Pretty good transition. Apple today is most commonly used because they have basically given up all their dreams and hope. <laughs> but, that shit hit different. Feel <laughs> that. In these lines, BTS talks about their want to change the system. The word 정상 in the last lines has a double meaning. First, it means normal, and second, it means top. So basically, not only is BTS talking about how this is not a normal situation, society is sick, but also they are saying we are not at the top yet and we have to push further. Here, BTS addresses how the older generation blames the millennials for their struggles, saying that it is due to a lack of effort. The word 노력 is pronounced 노력 by BTS, and this is a very commonly used internet slang among millennials to sarcastically describe how the older generation blames them for the lack of effort. Baby- it kind of seems like when we do, we like re-emphasize um, a word, but we do the capital uppercase or lowercase oh, yeah, uppercase. Yeah, yeah. uppercase. <laughs> it's kind of seems like low that. Key, low key, <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> but you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, like, you're not it's, trying it's hard enough. And then enough. it's the SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> you're not trying hard enough. That's, a, that's 100% what it is. We just do that to every any sentence anyone ever says. Like, yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> if you work hard, eh? Just yeah, just work hard. <laughs> Literally what it is. Like the fact how society is completely different now compared to when they were growing up. And also the economic situation is completely different. They also neglect the fact that a lot of the economic problems that these millennials face today were in fact caused by baby boomers. For example, housing prices that are extremely high so that millennials have basically given up buying their houses. These were driven up by baby boomers buying multiple houses in in speculation and for investment purposes. Yet many baby boomers simply neglect the fact and tell the millennials that they should try harder, work harder, so that you can perhaps buy a house 20 years later. Makes sense. 20 years is generous. On the surface level, these lines just simply seem like a cry for help, a call for a helping hand. However, the word pepsia in the very last line is a very clever play on words. Basically, this word would sound like a curse word to the Korean ear. 
It sounds very, very similar to shipseya or keseya, which are both very serious curse words in South Korea. So not only are they crying for help, and not only are they asking the protests to unite, but they are also calling the older generations. <laughs> My ears! I love that. That's very well done. I love though. that. I love that. It was funny because uh, in the rea in the actual video, the music video or the music video, the the color coded video that we watched, I I said that like oh the Bepsa it was like the way they said it is like a different than yeah. we normally heard. Yeah. And, and then you caught you caught it on there too in terms of like how their play on words through the songs adjust. How in the beginning it's like and this is the struggle we go through, and at the end it's like. Y'all suck. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. And yeah. then they're like, you guys really messed this up for us, huh? Yeah. Once again, it all resonates with us. Uh, I mean, we're currently living in this generation dealing with this. Uh, it sounds like a lot of the issues going on economically, generationally in Korea are also happening here in the U.S. too. So we can... We understand pretty well on what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and obviously, if you haven't seen our actual color-coded lyrics reaction, go ahead, we go in depth too. There, it's gonna be right here, from our perspective, right here, about a lot of the same stuff. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen that, you should go check that out because while we are agreeing a lot with this video, obviously, like there, we like Josh was saying, like personally explain how we see it. Yeah, we add almost input. every day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, besides that, uh, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. And thank you for stopping by the Money Man channel. Peace. Later.